Greetings demons and welcome to another Fortnite creative video. So we have the Fortnite creative builders challenge event ongoing right now and as you can see I've left this kind of late five hours left but we have six creative maps I guess to uh, experience. The theme this time around is Neon and we have Fortnite KO by Ara Game Plays, Neo World by Rivers, we have Neon Paintball Club Free For All by Juan S. Garnizo. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Neon Rush by Creative Sur Sergi. We have Neon Rush Gun Game by Hyper. And Neon Knight 6 Fun Mini Games by The Donato. And obviously there are other people on those teams. But I'll get into that when I actually talk about each map individually. But in any case, that's enough preamble. Let's just get into the first map. Not the leader of a cold rabbit with sex. And of course, the first map is Fortnite KO by Aragame Plays along with Atomic and Axel e -Dug. So, let's just get into it and see exactly what the first experience has to offer. So, here we are with Fortnite KO and uh, apparently I went into a public match, I was only able to find one other player, but uh, this is a minigame map with four different minigames to choose from. There's Neo Bikes, Neo Infected, Neo Warfare and Neo Piggy. Uh, I kind of know what these three are. I don't have a clue what Neo Piggy must be. I'm I'm actually really curious on what that one is, but uh, yeah, let's see if I guess having one player is probably enough, but uh, let's see if we actually get more people in here before the game actually starts. Oh, I like the, uh, the little chime we have there. So how does it? Oh, I do not speak Spanish. That is a, that is a shame. Um, how do we choose what we're going to be doing? Is it just random, or do we? Oh, oh, we're doing Neon Piggy or Neo Piggy, which is the one I was most interested in. Oh, oh, it's like a pig race. Okay, uh, this is interesting. This is not what I expected. This is kind of cool, I guess. I I don't think I've ever seen a pig race in creative, so this is cool. Okay. Oh, so it's like horse racing, but with with the hogs. That's kind of cool, you know? Like, that's a unique idea. I don't think I've ever experienced that. All right, let's see if we can win the uh, win the race, I suppose. Wow, this, this map is already uh, interesting, to say the least. I like it, though. Like, that's not a complaint at all. Like, this is a, this is a cool looking map. Come on, I, ca I can win, right? I can do this. Let's do it. Come on. There we go. Oh, yes. We, we can win this. We can definitely win this. Come on. Oh, how long is this race? <laughs> I, I keep thinking we're about to reach the end, and then we just don't. Um. Oh, okay. That's trippy. That's very trippy. We... <laughs> Straight up, just flying uh, through the air there, walking on, walking on midair. Um, right, let's let's go through the the jump pad. Okay, that I don't think that helps me too much, but I don't know. I don't know. Come on, I think we're still winning. Oh, that's the, that's the end. So are we about are we about to win? There we go. It says lap complete. Do, do we have to do multiple laps of this? That's kind of annoying. If so, it doesn't say like on screen. I'm gonna go the other way this time. I want I want I want to test out. All the routes, you know, because I want to see if there's actually like different pathways and different like aesthetics for different things. I doubt it is. I, I think both both paths are probably the same way, but uh, I am very interested in actually seeing if that is the case. Yeah, a lot of it seems to be. There's not that many uh, moving pathways, is there? Okay, this would be really good if you had like more than just two people. I feel if if this was more of a race. You know, where you actually had, like, a bit more stakes about it. Because I can't even hear the other guy anymore. Which is kind of a shame. Because, you know, he's the only person in the lobby. And when I'm just kind of far ahead, it's not really that fun. But, uh, yeah. I, I definitely like the aesthetic of this so far. Like, the the neonness of it is definitely there. This is cool. I'm, I'm liking it so far. Alright, let's, uh, let's get this race done. I'm hoping it's only two laps, because if it's if it's three laps, I think I might just l let the other guy win at that point. It's weird how it all like turns to. Oh, there we go. Uh, race complete. There we go. I, I know I understand a little bit of uh, of Spanish, so I do recognise what some of the words mean. Okay, there we go. 
I love that the Among Us are uh, about bling as well. <laughs> right, what are we actually going to get this time anyway? So, I'm I'm hoping for Neo bikes. Oh, Neo infected. Uh, it, so, I'm assuming it's infected like like in the like original Call of Duty sense. Oh, it's like hunted rather than infected or infection or anything. It's it's hunter versus hunted. So I'm the hunted and they're the hunter. Okay. And this is a completely different look uh, for the area, which I quite like. Um, so I guess this is just a outlive your opponent sort of deal. So I just need to manage to uh, get away, I suppose. Oh, they're on the, they're on the ball. Oh no! Where are they? They still up there? What are you doing, my friend? Oh. I don't know why I, why I, to be fair, I thought I had the shadow bomb rather than the uh, smoke grenade, <laughs> so, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, he's coming, he's coming, that's not good. Oh no, I shouldn't have jumped there. The jumps really slow you down if you're not going vertically. Right, let's get up there. Um... There we go. Get launched over here. Oh, no, 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 oh! Well, they got me. I don't know if this is round based or if this is just... Oh, no, that is just it. There you go. There we go, bit of respect there. We like that. Right, Um. so we've got Neo Warfare and Neo Bikes left. I'm hoping... Oh, yeah, Neo Bikes, lovely. That is probably the one I was most interested in after Neo Piggy, so... Oh, this is another race game. Okay. Okay, so... I'm guessing this is very much going to just be a traditional bike race. Though, uh... I don't know exactly how this is going to go in terms of... Well, but, oh, whoops. I didn't mean to hit him. Uh, the, the other race, like, there was no, like, uh, catch-up of any description because, obviously, you know, the pigs don't have catch-up. But uh, with the boost, like, there is potential here for something. Um, though he is definitely pulling ahead of me right now. Which is not great. You do have unlimited boosting though, so you can, like, as long as you're not hitting walls, like he just did, you can just boost forever. Which is in some ways good, but obviously, as we've just seen there. Oh no, I didn't mean to get off! I didn't mean to get off the bike! I forgot how to, uh, to e brake. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, right. Oh, uh, I've, I've. Yeah, I forgot that it was LB for super slide. That's my fault completely. Right. That's lap one. Let's see let's see if we can actually win this. We are ahead for now. So hopefully that's good. Boost all the way across here because why not? But yeah, I need to remember it's LB for, for the power slide. But that was just a mistake. Like for I was like I, I don't know what game it is that has X as power slide. Is it GTA maybe? This has the E brake be um Oh, come on. Come on. Right. I, I think it's GTA that has the e-brake on X on the controller. And yes, I do play GTA on controller because I'm a loser. But, uh, come on. Let's let's see if we can win this. I'm really... Now that I remember what the e-brake is, I've got a good feeling about this. And hopefully, if I e-brake around here... That, that worked fine. You know what? That was fine. It wasn't as good as I wanted it to be, but that is great. Look at that. Okay. Well, wait, what? Oh, I see. There's two checkpoints and it's three laps. I thought it was two laps. 
I thought when it said one out of two, that was how many laps completed, not how many checkpoints passed. Okay, let's, uh, let's get going. I like the idea of, of races like this. Like, they're a very, uh, not creative. I was like, oh, creative. Uh, but it's like, they're a very, um, just aesthetically pleasing type of race. Like, we had something like this for the Playwave event uh, that I really liked. I can't remember which map it was, but, uh, there was a race map on there that I really enjoyed. I don't know, maybe there's something about race maps that I just enjoy in general. I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't really play that many, I don't play that much creative outside of uh, the various creative events that I experience, so I don't know. And just like that, we win. <laughs> There we go, two for two on the races. Just because I've, I'm, I lost the uh, infected, like it's still anyone's game right now. And I suppose the next thing is Neo Warfare. So uh, yeah, un unless it is just random, but I, I assume it must be Neo Warfare next. Come on, Neo Warfare, give me, give me Neo. There we go, Neo Warfare. Oh, and my friend left. Um. Well, that's a shame. Um, well, at least we actually got to experience this part, I suppose, if we're not going to have to play it. Um, so, yeah, it's another Neon Arena. You've got capture points. So, I guess this is capture the flag. Oh, I see. So, I can actually... Uh, uh, where do I actually take this? Okay, so you just capture the flag repeatedly and, and that's it? This seems like very much like a big team thing rather than a small team thing. Like you wouldn't want this in a 1v1 situation. So I understand why uh, the other guy left. Is it first to a certain amount? It doesn't actually say anywhere. I'm going to go to like five and then if it doesn't... I'll go to seven actually because that's, that's a pretty standard number. I'll go to seven. And uh, if it doesn't re if it doesn't end at seven, then I'll, then I'll just quit. But yeah, overall, like the aesthetic of this map has been really, really good. Well, we actually got so that's the spawn room for that side. That's the spawn room for this side. Does it actually say? I don't think it says any sort of uh, score limit. I'm just gonna keep going with flags for a little bit longer. Uh, is the other side also a flag location? I guess this this must be like my team's flag location. Unless can I also pick up flags from here? No, I can't. So it is literally just you go to A if you're on one spawn. You go to B if you're on the other spawn. And that's just kind of how it is. It's not a terrible design for for a map like this. But, uh, yeah, I definitely don't think this would work with just uh, a 1v1. It is first to five. Okay, that's good to know. Well, there we go. So we captured the flag. We uh, we won capture the flag. We were Neo Warfare or whatever. Well, there we go. That is Fortnite KO. Gracias por Um, But, yeah, that, that was actually pretty good. I enjoyed that. And it actually gave me a reason to play on a public match for a change. But, uh, yeah, let's get into the next map. And that next map is Neo World. This is by Rivers with Blake GW and Santia Garafa. And, uh, yeah, this one looks to be something of interest. So let's just get into this one and see exactly what it has to offer. Okay, so straight into this one. Uh, there are three different modes. I'm not sure which one this is. There is Capture the Flag, Search and Destroy, which this definitely isn't, unless I'm really misunderstanding what it means by Search and Destroy. That was weird. Why did... I understand why not all those shots hit, but, like, some of those definitely have hit there. Um, <laughs> and then there's another mode. I think it was Domination. So, uh, Domination, Capture the Flag, and... Uh, Search and Destroy, which is uh, a pretty standard setup of modes for this sort of thing. So, the weird thing though, and I noticed this when I read the description, even though I'm pretty sure these are all objective modes, like by design, you don't get that many points for actually capturing the points and stuff. You only get the points really for, um, I guess, getting kills. You get 10 points per kill and 5 points per assist, which is kind of interesting because yeah zero points just there um where is the person oh so i think this might actually be domination because there's multiple flag points oh yeah there's our enemy 
Okay. Right, so... Currently, we're at three. I assume it's us at 340. Yeah, it does seem to be. Uh, 345 right now out of 500 versus 10 out of 100, which is kind of a shame that uh, the other guy is kind of this low. I've got a feeling there's probably more people in this lobby before I joined. Um, but yeah, there's only two points, which is interesting. Uh, I also wonder where the enemy's gone because they are no longer. Oh! No, that was just the that was just my teammate using the sword. Where, where's the enemy gone? Hmm. They may have actually left due to that. But yeah, this is a neo mall sort of thing. Oh, there we go, win. Um, it looks interesting. We've got uh, got a lot of the generic uh, like hologram stuff and whatever. But yeah, that that's cool. <laughs> I feel like I haven't properly explored this map, so uh, let's get into another match or another round, whichever, and uh, we'll see if we can explore a little bit more. Okay, so this is what like the lobby area looks like. It's like a dance, like disco hall sort of thing. That's kind of cool. I like the uh, the different color light usage. That's really nice. Like as someone who has obviously for uh, the cosmetic showcases built uh, in creative, like this stuff always amazes me how it looks so good because. You know, if you've watched any of those creative showcases, you know that my uh, building skill is essentially non-existent, <laughs> which is a shame, really. Um, okay, so we have Capture the Flag this time, uh, just like in the previous uh, map that we had. And this is actually a different map. This isn't the... Uh, this isn't the mall from the last one, which is interesting. So this is our flag. Where is... Oh, the other flag is over this way. Uh, with me, with it just being me in this, um, <laughs> with it me being just me in here, I'm not going to be completing this game. But yeah, it's good to know there's actually multiple maps on here. The aesthetic is very nice. I I'm not as sold on this one as I am the previous one. The previous one kind of I don't know captured the neon feel a little bit more for me. But uh, yeah, this one's a nice. The fact that it is different maps for everything, even though they could technically just have them. You know, be one way. Oh, it's only five. You know, I might as well just capture five flags and then get in. Hopefully, get into the other mode because uh, oh, there is actually someone here. Hello, friend. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, that wasn't great. <laughs> so we've actually got a, a opponent now. So this is actually going to last a little bit longer. Uh, right. Let's. I think focusing on getting flags is probably the way to go. We're already 100 points ahead, so good chance it, that if we actually just keep pushing their flag, we'll probably do pretty well. Now let's uh, take that. Can I run with the flag? No, I can't. Okay, so it's slightly different from the other catch of the flag that we had in the uh, the last one. Oh, no, 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 right. Okay, that's not great. Where are you going? Where where are you going? Oh no. How am I wait, why am I not doing damage? Why am I just not doing damage? Do you not do damage to people that are on the Wait what? Let's take the flag. Bye. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, why? Why would you? What? I don't. I don't understand the. Oh, what? we've got more players. Oh, that's cool. That's good. Thank you, my friend. I did not realize we had more players. Yeah, I just actually say at the top. <laughs> that's that's actually kind of funny. Oh, no! Get out of there! Get out of there! It's fine. If I die, it's fine. Oh no. <laughs> We both die, that's fine. Okay. This is actually getting interesting. I, I hope the other guy does get a teammate, just for the sake of this not being just an absolute bloodbath, because we're already 215 points ahead. But uh, I suppose they're on 130, so it's not like they're that far ahead. Uh, far behind, even. Right. 
This is my chance. Let's grab the flag and get a moving while while uh, while my teammate is distracting them. Come on, let's uh, let's get moving. Let's let's do this. But this is like in theory you could win very quickly if you just got really lucky with flags. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I I'm not the biggest fan of catching the flag in most games. Um, Fortnite is no exception to that. I I don't really care for it. But uh, you know, it's it's a perfectly good mode. I understand why a lot of people like to build it. And uh, at the end of the day, like it's one that Fortnite actually has like really good tools for creating. So I don't blame people at all. It is a three v two right now, though it is very close to being just over. So uh, might not be. Come on, come on, come on. I want to get a kill. I want to get a kill. No, how are they? Okay, cool. I'm at least going to get an assist there. Uh, yeah. Alright, just focus on fo focus on uh, capturing points and stuff, guys. Need one more flag capture or, or like a few more kills and then we're, we're very good. Uh, can I emote? You can't emote anymore while you're doing that. Come on. We need, we need them not to capture anymore. To be fair, their, their, their points are very low right now, but... Right, come on. Let's uh let's do this the correct way and let's let's go and uh grab the flag. Right. Oh no, oh no, they they are holding that point like like their life depends on it. Oh no, no 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 right Oh no, that's me down. <laughs> That's not great. Oh no. Ah, uh, begun the Clone Wars have. <laughs> there we go. We are very close though right now. Like, 460. We only need a few more kills maybe. Oh, or just like, one more flag capture. Is, is Kumo carrying a flag right now? I'm not actually sure. I'm not sure if anyone's carrying a flag right now. Oh, let's stop them from capturing anything. I like that this lobby has like grown in size, like the longer uh, longer I stayed. It was worth staying, definitely. Um, we need to catch the flag. I, I, I'm pretty sure we have a flag bearer right now. Good soldiers follow orders, you silly goose. <laughs> there we go. Just like that, we won. Okay. I think, honestly, this is everything that this map has to offer. Like, I know there's three different modes, I've only tried two of them, but these sort of PvP maps have never been something that interests me that much. So, I feel this is a good taste of it. I have actually quite enjoyed the gameplay of this one, even if I think the map is probably a little bit worse than the other one. But, uh, yeah, let's... Oh, okay, we'll have, a, we'll have a look at this one, actually, before I just straight up jump into... Uh, how do I... Oh, are we not able to select our weapons? Um... I will be this one. <laughs> oh, it's me and the fish. Okay. Come on, guys. Get into your classes so that we can uh, actually play. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Get into your class. Don't be a... <laughs> Just come on, get into your class. I don't even know whose team you're in. <laughs> Come on, start. Or not. What's happening? Wait, what? Does this just not start? Does, that, does there have to be so many people? I'm very confused right now. Is it just not going to start? I'm very confused as what's happening. You know what, whatever. Um, I guess we're not going to play the other mode because it won't seem to start, but... Uh... Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Let's let's just do what I was gonna do and go into the other map. 
And next up, we have Neon Paintball Club Free For All, which is by Juan Garanzino. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. J along with Joe Tape and Feed Bujo. And uh, yeah, this seems like it's probably going to be a pretty simple free for all map, but let's try it out and see exactly what it has to offer. So here we are with Neon Paintball Club. We actually have got, once again, straight into a game. Uh, what do I want? Hmm. I'm kind of tempted to go with a sniper. I don't know which one to go with, though. I'll pick up a heavy. Uh, we'll grab... Oh, the Polarcon pistol, of course. It's such a good weapon. And uh, you know what? I'll also take... Let's go with the dual pistols. There we go. That's a, that's a good set. That's a good setup, if I do say so myself. Right, so we've got some shield overlays. Two times damage for the enemy team. Okay. So far, I'm liking the aesthetic of this place. There's one elimination down. Oh, boy. <laughs> I got some nice hits in there. That was not uh, necessarily my, my my best attempt there, but... Oh, hello. Got him. Okay. Let's see. What, el what else is there here? So, uh... It's, it's, it's like an actual legitimate uh, setup for a paintball match. Like, I, I've definitely... I've never been to actual paintballing, but uh, something like this is definitely how I imagine it. And when I've seen it in, like, media and stuff, it always looks like this. Uh, I'm more of an airsoft person, or outdoor paintball, actually, because I have... Oh! Because I have definitely been to paintball. Uh, just always been outdoor paintballing, which obviously has a very different aesthetic of more, like, military um, than, uh, than what this has going for it, which is obviously... Far more in the, in terms of uh, like the urban warfare sort of deal. Okay, we've got other players here. Okay, I wish there was a little uh, leaderboard here, which kind of said, you know, who was ahead and on how many points. But uh, we move, we move. Where are they? I don't know where they're going, because I don't know, actually, I don't know the layout of this map well enough. Oh! There we go. Let's go, let's do this. Where are they? Oh, we've got another shield power up. Come on. Oh, you get double damage for getting a five kill streak? That's actually pretty cool. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you don't. Not not today. Oh, no. Maybe today. Maybe today. <laughs> oh, that was, uh, that was dumb. Right, okay. So, if you get five kills through, you get double damage. Um, I don't know what it means by player on. Maybe it means that players that are currently alive, um, in the area to a fight? I guess it tells you, like, if, the, if there's nobody, like, in your area, maybe? Or anyone that's, like, respawning still? Oh boy. Yeah, maybe a shotgun would, would have been a smart idea, actually. I feel like the sniper rifle was probably a bad idea. I just wanted I wanted something ranged, you know? Like something actually ranged. Uh, compared to, you know, the pistols, which have good range, but nothing that you would use for that purpose. Oh, no. Yeah, that was, that was a mistake. Oh, no. Yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> I thought, oh, I did, I did lose. I was like, I thought I lost for a second because it went slow mo. But yeah, okay. I quite like, you know what? This of all the, you know, creative PvP maps that I've played like throughout time, that was actually really fun. I actually think I'll, I might come back to this one in the future. That was, uh, that was good. I like that. But moving on, we next have Neon Rush. This is by Creative Sergi along with Reaper Forty Five and Duding, I guess, and. uh yeah, this one looks to potentially be a racing game based off the screenshots, which is a very nice addition. Uh, let's just get into this one and see exactly what it has to offer. Okay. Here we are with Neon Rush. I like the cutscenes. Like that's uh that's some Fortnite uh, that's some Creative 2.0 stuff right there. Also, like, I feel I'm pretty sure some of these vehicles are different from uh, the typical stuff. Oh. Oh, it's like micro machines! 
Okay. Um, I, I, I'm assuming I'm the white one? It's like Micro Machine. That's so cool. I'm a huge fan of Micro Machine games. Like, this is actually really neat to me. Um, oh, once again, I don't actually know how to, uh, how to do the, like, fast turns or the tight turns. Um, they might be useful. Though, then again, it seems like I'm pretty far ahead right now. Um, this is such a weird angle. I don't, I didn't know you could make this sort of, like, top-down experience in Fortnite. This is really cool. Oh, no. That's not great. Come on. Let's, uh, let's get going. Hopefully more people get caught up on, uh, on that. Yeah, the steering is kind of weird. Um, I don't know if that's just this typical car steering that I'm just not used to. Um, but in any case, oh, it's, this is actually really cool. I, I didn't realize it would be like this. I thought it would be much more like, um, well, like a typical race, like a, like a first person race. I, 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 oh, not first person, third person, sorry. I mean, it could have been first person because first person is a, is a thing in Fortnite, but yeah, I, I was honestly expecting this to be way more, um, way more generic than it is. I, this might actually be my favorite so far, at least in terms of like how creative it is as a concept. Like I, I, I love Micro Machines. I think I did, I did, I did Micro Machine World Tour, um, a, a long time ago that was, but, uh, yeah, still like, I, I'm a huge fan of, uh, of Micro Machine games, so getting stuff like this is great. There we go, we've got another checkpoint in as well. So on lap two of five, uh, where's the end of this again? Is it just around this corner? There we go. So, yeah, we've got two more laps of this, uh, well, three more laps of this, I'm, I'm on lap three. Um... This could be, this could be good. I, I, I'm honestly like this. I know I'm gushing a little bit, but like, this is actually my thing. Like this, this, this is, this feels like it's custom made for me to enjoy it, which is really funny to think about, um, because I'm not a creative player. So it's just kind of funny that I've, I've maybe actually found something I enjoy, like properly in, uh, in Fortnite. Everything is too PVP based, you know. This is, this is true creative to me. This is what like everything should be. Should like. Things like uh, we saw in that first map with the uh, hog racing, um, like that stuff's cool and everything. But like this, this is what creative should be, in my opinion. Like just things that you would never see in the standard game: different camera angles, different um, equipment, different items. Just genuinely like going for a whole new experience, like making a whole new game out of it. I need to uh, be very careful here because I'm at risk of getting overtaken probably by uh, whoever's in second. Oh, okay, okay. That's fine. I don't remember that from Micro Machines. <laughs> uh, right, let's, let, let's let's hopefully not get overtaken. I'm, I'm hoping for a win here. That, that'd be, that would be great if I got that. This is, this is great. I'm, like, even though it's not the longest track in the world and it is, you know, five laps, this is actually really just fun like the fact that i'm getting used to the turning as well um i don't know how how they're like doing like drift turning i'm not sure what button they're hitting for that but uh whatever button it is i, d I think these are like a lot behind me so i don't know why i'm really like pushing on them but uh yeah let's let's go let's go oh no come on let's let's do this yeah, I think some of the cars have the boost and some of them don't because a lot of uh, the other players seem to be in the red car that is boosting and as far as I can tell, I can't boost in the white car so maybe I'm just in like, the wrong vehicle sort of thing uh, for what I'm trying to do. It's hard to say for sure because, um, yeah, they're like... They're, they're doing all the like, uh, little boost effects and stuff, so I, I don't I don't know whether... Oh, what is happening with the camera? That's... Oh, and the audio's cut out. Oh, no, that's just my... Okay, the audio's cut out because my headphones just disconnected. That's fun. Well, let, let's just get this done. Let's get, get through the finishing line. There we go. So, uh... That is... That is it for this race. I... This is... This is great. Honestly, this... I think this might end up being my favourite if the next two aren't exceptional. I think this is going to be my favourite overall. This is this has been really good. I've really enjoyed this. There we go, though. 
And 40 seconds, that's, that's a lot of time to uh, to get second and third place uh, done. Like, that that's pretty reasonable. Like, GTA races are, pretty, I think, 30 seconds after. Actually, I think that's after, like, third place passes. So, fair enough on that one. But, uh, yeah. Without audio, this is so this is such a different experience. I realise, I'm pretty sure in the recording, because of how I have the audio set up, it shouldn't actually um, be a problem. You should still be hearing the game sound. I just, it's muted for me. Wow, I completed an extra lap. Does that mean I, I completed a lap in less than a minute? I completed a lap in about, like, 50 seconds there. Crazy. Wow. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Rubbervax score 86. Wow. Nearly 100. Not, like, I could have probably, if I was a little bit better at racing in this game, I could have probably got 100 points there. That was great. I enjoyed that. Right, let's, uh, let's get into the next one. This is definitely a contender for my favourite. I love Vaporwave. And, uh, yeah, the racing, the Micro Machines aspect, really, really cool to me. So, next up, we have Neon Rush Gun Game. Weird that they have the same name there, but, yeah, this one is by Hyper with Pachamole and Hushin. And, uh, I've got a feeling I'm not going to enjoy this one as much as the other Neon Rush. Okay, so here we are in Neon Rush Gun Game. So, uh, this is already a very fast-paced, uh, gun game right here. Um... Uh, so I'm assuming there's very standard uh, gun game rules. You know, you get your kills and you upgrade your weapons. <laughs> yep. And uh, I'm assuming if you get a melee kill, you set them back where you don't progress anything. Unless you're on the last one. What shotgun is this? <laughs> I was like, well, I was trying to like just point blank him and then it just went through him almost. That was weird. Uh, let's. There we go. Oh, rocket launcher? This early on? Seems interesting. Um, okay, what, what what's just happened for me not to get any? Why am I not getting kills? What's that? What's just happened? I'm not. I'm not getting kills. There we go. Okay, that was weird. I I oh, there's NPCs. I just thought because they're the um, one of the skins that exist in this game. I just assumed that was what it was. That makes more sense then. Okay, so there's NPCs and actual players as both. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that wasn't great. Right. Is there a pro- does it actually tell you about where pro- like, where you're, you are in the, like, leaderboard? Uh, it says I'm on 10, which I don't think is accurate. Um, right, can I go in here? Yeah. I'm liking the aesthetic of this one. Um, way more than I thought I would anyway. Uh, the actual gameplay experience, though, is a little, uh, not what I was looking for, necessarily. Oh, you little... Stealing my kills. It's so, it's so funny as well, because I keep seeing the same skins. I'm like, I wonder if it happens that they are the same players that I'm just running into in multiple games, because everyone's kind of just doing the same thing as me, where they're just trying to get the, uh, the harvesting tool, which I don't think I've mentioned in this video yet. But yeah, there's a free harvesting tool for playing these maps um, right now. Obviously, by the time this video goes up, it's a little late. But uh, yeah, that, that's, that's the main reason I care about this as much as I do. Because, you know, you know me, I don't care about creative that much uh, in general. What on earth is... I didn't realize what weapon I had. I, I straight up just didn't realize that I was holding a uh, burst rifle. I was like, why is this not automatic? It's like, it is automatic. But uh, there we go. Oh, that's a shotgun. I'm, well... <laughs> that was that was a stupid thing for me to do. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Beast, you're mine. <laughs> you're mine. What? Where are you going? Oh, there you go. Oh, you stole the pistol. I feel so bad for that now. I just chased him down. I thought he was on like third or fourth weapon or something. No, he's st he's still on the first weapon. He hasn't got a kill yet. I feel. I actually kind of feel bad now. <laughs> I didn't realize at all. Right, let's, uh, oh, hello. Oh, hello, hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> right, there we go. Uh, right, let's drop that, no? I thought they would be down there. Uh, right, let's climb on top, I guess, then. Oh, hello, Makusa. Again? Oh, no. <laughs> that was not good. Okay, uh, whereabouts are we? In terms of the progression, we're 14 out. We're halfway. Come on, I can. 
I can get this uh, this agent. I can't remember what her name is. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> it's like I feel like I'm bullying this kid. <laughs> Like, it's awful. Like, I, I I, didn't... It doesn't help that I didn't realise initially that he was as low as he is. Oh, no. Hello. What what weapon am I holding? I, I don't want to... Oh, it's an automatic. It's a silence, silence scar. <laughs> because I, I can't recognise guns when they're in the character hands. I have to see them either on the floor or um, or in the inventory. But because I was in... I keep going into gunfights, like, immediately one after the other. No, no, I'm not. I'm not doing this. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming that that Mikasa is is probably pretty close to the end. There we go. Got shotgun now. An interesting shotgun. Shotgun you don't normally see. Okay. Well, that was that was simple. Oh, that's that's NPCs. Don't need those. Don't need those. These those don't help me. Oh, they've got bow. I am missing shots like crazy. I am I'm gonna die to this NPC. <laughs> there we go. Well, there we go. The Mikasa actually won. Wow. Okay. Um <laughs> Defeat. Well, I mean, it could have been worse. I wow, no, it it nearly couldn't. I only I only beat the Mr. Beast player. Wow. Okay. <laughs> You know, that that was alright. I like the aesthetic of that one. It, it was nothing too special. Um, I'm still more of a fan of the original Neon Rush, but, you know, that that was fine. And finally, that leaves us with Neon Knight. Six fun minigames. This is by The Donator, Kaiwin, FN, and Boshi. And, uh, yeah, this one is looking like it's varied again, which is going to be pretty nice. I hope you can actually choose which one you do, rather than it being like that first map. But, uh, let's just jump in and see. Okay, I'm taking infinite damage. That's interesting. Um, I guess this is just one of the mini games, um, or not? I I I don't I don't get what's happening. Why am I just taking infinite damage? Am, am I supposed to? What? I, what? Huh? I I oh, I'm supposed to just keep going up. I was so confused. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Okay. I'm going to die before before I get to the top, aren't I? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> I'm so confused. I just got thrown into that. That was that was stupid. Okay. <laughs> just taking infinite damage for seemingly no reason. <laughs> that was that mm, yes. Okay. <laughs> right. So you can actually choose your mini game. It says in loading screen. So that's that's good to know. <laughs> that was that was uh, yeah, that was funny, but that wasn't necessarily a great experience. <laughs> you shouldn't be able to just load into the middle of like non PvP game. Like there should be a toggle in the creative menu or something to like not load into that kind of game <laughs> just midway because I'm pretty sure I was taking damage before I actually loaded in. <laughs> uh right. Oh no! They took they they took the gun. Um. Oh, motor mayhem. Okay, we're, we're racing again. <laughs> paint the surface to wait. Paint the surface. Oh, oh! It's this kind of mini game. I have. When was the last time I, I did a paint the floor mini game? This it will be in GTA at some point. But I don't remember when. Oh, what? No, I'm stuck. <laughs> uh, well, let's let's go get another bike. <laughs> Um, this is this is interesting. Like I, I I don't see too many of these, so this is always a cool little thing. Um, oh wait, can you? Oh no, no. If you fall off, you die. <laughs> that's that's good to know. Um, I will say there is definitely neon on this map, but I wouldn't necessarily say that's like a clear theme. You know, like oh no, oh no. <laughs> like it it's you know, I don't know it it. I don't think this fits the the vibe as much. Was that a loss? Okay, you know what? I I don't know what's happening. I don't really care to know what's happening. Um, this is an interesting map, sure, but everything is going too quickly. I don't know. I don't have time to get my bearings on any of these little game modes, mini games, whatever. Um, I 
I this might be if you put, if you gave it time, this might actually be a really fun mini game collection. But after everything else that I've seen, I I'm pretty I'm pretty confident this is probably on the lower end of all these maps. And that leaves us with the decision of which map we're going to vote on. And you know what? All these maps are really good. It's impressive with how quickly they were actually built because I think it was just about a month, I believe. Uh, does it actually give me a time frame? It was from the 21st of April to the 3rd of May. That was the that was the actual building period. So, like, not long at all to build some actually really decent... Uh, it was a fortnight. Literally, it was a fortnight to build. And, you know, all these maps are really, really fun uh, in their own way. Some of them less fun than others, obviously. But, uh, yeah, Fortnite KO was a really nice selection of mini games, essentially, of different modes. Neo World, not the most interesting, but still all right. Uh, Neon Paintball Club, maybe my favorite PvP map I've played in a very, very long time, if ever. Um, Neon Rush, I, I think this is this is my vote right here. I, I'm pretty sure Neon Rush is my favorite. The Micro Machines aspect is absolutely awesome, and then Neon Rush can game was perfectly good. Um, the map was a little bit boring, but it, it looked good. It fit the theme and everything, and then. Ah, uh, Neon Knight. Probably the worst of the bunch, but still a perfectly good map, and I'm sure if I gave it more time and wasn't just overwhelmed immediately, I would probably be enjoying it a lot more. But, yeah, as I say, I think my vote has to go to Neon Rush. So, uh, yeah, let's get the vote done. I don't actually know how to do it. <laughs> okay, so after waiting for Neon Rush Gun Game and Neon Knight to actually say they were completed, because for some reason it took about half an hour, Neither of them wanted to say that I'd actually completed them. We can now vote. So, uh, yeah, Fortnite KO was alright. Neo World was uh, was good as well. Neon Paintball Club, very, very good. I actually really like that one. And that one would probably be a winner if not for Neon Rush. Neon Rush being like Micro Machines was just excellent. And uh, I don't think I can ignore that. Neon Rush can game... It's perfectly fine. Uh, nothing too special, but it's it is what it is. And uh, yeah, the less said about Neon Knight, the better. I feel in this instance. But uh, yeah, it has been Neon Rush for me. And uh, yeah, there we go. Thank you for voting. The reward earned is the little sweeties pickaxe. So yeah, that is going to be it. So um, <laughs> yeah, obviously as of this video going up. This has been over for a few days. We'll actually know the winner by then. But in any case, that is going to be it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like it, subscribe if you're new to it, and ring the bell so you never miss upload. Otherwise, it's going to be it from me. And uh, yeah. Bye. Look at the screen. You'll be fine. Cultures of the sex. But worlds survive. I just want to take.